Hey YouTubers, today I am going to show you how to set up or configure or fix your uh, MMS on your unlocked Verizon iPhone 4S. Um, currently here, as you see on the screen, this is a this is a Verizon iPhone 4S. See the carrier VFNL and uh, home, of course. That would be a uh, Straight Talk. It's on Straight Talk right now. And I'm on the uh, $45 unlimited talk, text, and internet. So um, I have no affiliation um, with any of the uh, company or carriers or even, uh, you know, I mean, the things that I use here. So so this is how we uh, fix the uh, MMS, okay? As you know, with Verizon, Verizon is probably the, the most difficult one to, as far as to... Um, to unlock and to uh, fix the uh, MMS. I've heard a lot of people complain about the MMS, they can't get it to work, uh, the internet, things like that. So, we are first going to confirm that there is a problem, okay? And you guys will be familiar with this screen here, livevodafone.com, the APNs, and you guys are pretty much familiar trying to edit it no matter what you do you try to delete it it comes back it comes back so how do we fix this problem okay so that's what I'm here to show you how to do okay So you could, you know, I mean, you could, let me see. Sometimes you can't even send a message. It won't even allow you to send a message, um, let alone picture message. So it won't allow you to do anything. So if you guys look on the screen on my computer here, I'm using a Mac on this. Uh, you could use a PC as well. Uh, what you're gonna need is um, you're gonna need um, iFunbox. Uh, it's a free uh, tool that you could download off the internet. You could Google it. Just type in iFunbox and uh, download that and you're gonna need a text editor anyone will work um, notepad on a PC and for uh, a Mac uh, text edit okay and so first thing we do is plug in our uh, phone got that plugged in and this is what it's reading and this is our uh, test phone right here. Okay, so we want to open up iFun Box, and on the left hand side, um, you're going to see some options here. The one with that we want is uh, Raw File Systems. Click on that, and you're given some folders here. Uh, I'm going to change the view. This is a lot easier for me, and the one that we want is System. And then library and then carrier bundles iPhone and they wait a little bit and next one will pop up now you want to scroll all the way down you see all these numbers whatever you do don't touch anything okay just touch what I tell you and you'll be fine okay so there's a folder here that we're uh, particularly interested in it is the Vodafone underscore NL bundle so double click that okay after you double click that you're presented with some files okay now if you change these files and you don't know what you're doing you could you know I mean you could seriously mess up your phone so just uh, just do what I tell you to do 
and of course um, this will be at your own risk so don't blame me if it doesn't work for you um, I have tested and verified verified these on uh, many phones and all of these phones I did uh, you know I mean I I did a clean um, factory restore on them and I uh, jailbroke them and unlocked them so there's no possible way of uh, software corruption whatsoever before I did this so the file that we are um, particularly interested in is uh, carrier.plist okay what we want to do is just highlight it and then we want to right click it or you know I mean pull up the options to delete it we're gonna delete it okay now before you delete it okay you may want to back up the original copy in case something goes wrong so let's go copy to Mac it's gonna ask you where desktop is fine so it's gonna copy it to the desktop so just know where you uh, copy the original to so now we're gonna delete it make sure you want to delete the item yes okay it's deleted now okay so I have another folder here which you guys do not have okay I'll provide you guys a link to download the file okay so I'm gonna open it up as you can see I have four carriers here okay actually more like yeah about four carriers okay so what I'm gonna show you is um, for straight talk we're gonna do the configuration okay this file right here this was the original file kept that as a backup so we're gonna go straight talk okay this is the file that I edited I edited the master file okay so you guys don't have to edit I already did it for you all you gotta do is um, uh, drag and drop so I'm gonna drag this and drop it in there okay close this so I dragged it and drop it in there and that's that I go ahead and close iPhone box now I'm gonna go ahead and reboot my phone turn it off and then I'm gonna turn it back on and let it unlock itself and then we're gonna test everything I'll also have the files for uh, simple mobile as well as T-Mobile and again this is uh, only for the Verizon iPhone 4S and uh, on 5.1.1 I, I didn't confirm it with any other uh, firmware so we'll wait for it to unlock this may take uh, you know a minute or two or three or four or five and again this is only for the uh, the Gevi Ultra S from uh, Apple and Berry okay this is not the uh, not the fake stuff that you uh, get for five dollars on eBay, so that goes out in you know in a week. So this is uh, official stuff, guys, and it will work absolutely. Uh, you know, I mean, terrific. Okay, just press accept whenever those black screen pop up. We we'll wait until basically it says home up here. Which should be very soon. It has already, uh, well, I picked up the signal and it lost it. Okay, so we wait. So, to prevent you guys from staring at a uh, black screen, I'm gonna go and 
Okay, it's on never auto lock. Just want to make sure that just so you guys won't stare at a blank screen. But what happened was that um well we'll wait for it to pick up the signal first before we look in that cellular data network. 